right. I had to basically sit down and um, grab my thread because I shall be epilating whilst I'm talking. I think I operate better when I'm multitasking. Um, and I shall be having my Prince Biscuits <sighs> soon. Situation. Like, I mean, okay, this is me vlogging something that I should be putting out there. <laughs> It's the truth and the truth is what I'm being called to put out there. In this country where I'm currently sitting and vlogging from, whether or not I'm going to post this, and I have not posted a single vlog out of like, I think I have, I've got a few um, external hard drives that contain um, terabytes of you know two tbs at least of videos and pictures of everything that's been happening whenever i did get the chance to um journal photo journal but uh vlogging i've not been able to post anything because the point that comes when i have to like okay most of the recordings i could not speak clearly at least there was a lot of fog, a lot of... The only time that I could like really have clarity and um, clarity of thought was when there was somebody around, okay? There was someone constantly around. I do also have to speak softly right now because I don't know who's listening. Anyhow, I'm gonna speak into this vlog some of the uh some of the truths in the way that i've been avoiding i came to pakistan after my divorce two years ago and in the hope that i was coming home i always felt that when i came to pakistan i was coming home i always didn't really I came with a feeling or came with a hope <laughs> feeling um and I don't think that I have ever made any friends. <sighs> um, maybe I did uh, in in a certain dynamic with with the general public. They're very respectful, and if shown the way, the way that the way that I'm always continuing to be. Um, energetically aware, or conscious, uh, always trying to grow my conscience, always trying to educate myself uh, of um, about the spirits of the land, how to live by natural law. So, um, okay, I have so much to say but I don't know where to begin. Yeah, so uh, let's talk about tarot. I would ideally like to sit outside in the living room, but I have to figure out uh, some kind of music to put on in the background that uh, will help me to stay in, in the energy. Um, and uh, maybe if it's just me uh, that's feeling paranoid and there's no one listening, it's possible that my voice is not reaching outside these walls. <laughs> but I have this feeling, big feeling, that I'm not alone. I know I'm not alone in certain energies um, that I'm not, um, that's not something I doubt. It's, my ancestors and the spirit that are protecting me. Um, so I will talk about tarot and I want to talk about protection. I want to talk about safety. And I think that I just figured out that I've been conceptualizing it in my head the whole time instead of like um, getting into the energy. I was, I was really, really uh, scared of not knowing how to go about it 
and then it started to kind of like click through okay it started to sort of snap through so um, okay how do I not say all this without being in the habit of going cryptic <laughs> so um, the mystic path is obviously never easy the shadow work is uh, that needs to be done is never easy and uh, now right now the energy the period that we're in the opportunity that we're getting to move through this with the right amount of courage to face the truth with the right amount of intention to to put into making new paths that we secretly believe in all of us secretly but we really don't always um, have the knowledge um, on how it works and so we are in the habit we were bonded into concepts that guide us habitually into behaving, saying, and into speaking language around the world, defining that world by that language and its limitations. To to be so. Uh, traumatized that you don't, you're not even aware of your trauma you've been shriveled so much into a shell that you don't know where the pain of loneliness and this longing and your dreams being so far away the things that you would aspire as like Wow, it's so out of your reach. It's great to have like, you know, dreams, big dreams, like having a big herbal garden. Um, but people who are, um, people who are light workers, they, they don't, they, they get their dreams and they um, have to learn on the path how to read those dreams. It's not, something that isn't happening on another dimension it's actually reality taking place on another dimension and lots of these kinds of concepts are considered crazy <laughs> esoteric um, hocus pocus and uh, to the extent okay so to, to one extent it's like hmm, somebody can look to you with awe or curiosity or even jealousy that how did you get that and you know it will leave you wondering when you have so many um, faces looking towards you with that sort of uh, wonder um, and you, you never faced anything like that before as a light worker you're probably gonna feel like well this isn't something I've ever dealt with before, what kind of energies I'm dealing with right now. And so, this is an interesting new challenge. And honestly, it might not be interesting. Like, you know what, I need to grab some water. So I wanted to talk about tarot. Um, it's really interesting that after falling really, really rock bottom uh, two days ago, um, maybe like I was being warned about the tower moment uh, by the incredible tarot community that exists currently on YouTube. Okay, as a child. As an eight-year-old, 
I perceived some very powerful visions, a, st a whole story about a magical tribe that um, whose magic was music, amongst other abilities, was called by some sea uh, forces entities, and um, the the messenger who was called to take the message by going into the middle of the sea along with some um, representatives of the sea um, the sea king or the sea princess the sea queen and so this person disappears and for a hundred years there's no news about a natural calamity that is about to befall the people and how most more most importantly they are supposed to transport themselves into the future with their magic so that they reach the future uh, and they can do that telepathically uh, the soul is supposed to transport themselves into the bodies, actual bodies, manifested as humans and animals and plants. Um, and even some uh, in spirit. But what happened <laughs> um, in the story actually happened. I, I drew a lot. I drew the images of the characters and uh, this one character although uh, she uh, although she's um, not aware of where this the messenger disappears there's a love story in there um, uh, and but she but she somehow manages to get this tribe to um, because the messenger and this character are very close, but they're not aware of this uh, sacred love that is of such great importance, the importance of that love. Um, it's totally undermined in the whole story and for the, the, the nature of this calamity, the storm, and its purpose, its actual the nature of this calamity being something that really sort of shrouds the importance of true love. What it's all about, to, exp to not be able to experience that is like growing up in a broken home. It's like forever being haunted because you don't, you never got to experience uh, normality. Or something precious, something really rich profound, much better than like, you know, fiscal stuff. <laughs> and that can piss a lot of people off, me saying this, that um, I, I, I love doing my shopping, I, lo I love making stuff, I, I love putting stuff in my shop. Um, there are some cr really creative people who know how to do that sort of create that those sort of market spaces and um, it's nice to have money or something to barter um, it's it's really nice to have uh, wealth it's really nice to have something to give for something you want a, a little more than the thing is worth <laughs> but you know the thing with um, magical people is that they live with um, their environment in such a way that um, natural law guides them the, this, it's not just humans that are here it's um, it's, it's, it's it's an endless amount of energies it's 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 a uh, the, the earth is um, also known as Terra in some culture. 
gives has given birth to the word tarot. Um, its its roots um, when it came when it when the vision started to come to the first uh, artist um, as visions. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to work through a very strange energy. This this particular energy always has, always gets into my brain in such a way that I'm only able to, uh, I'm not able to perform. I'm only able to like be raw and I'm only able to like be myself like be this jaggedy person with you know uh, who was nearly driven into the circus managed to escape the circus I'm not able to perform in that way you know <laughs> And I think that the trauma was that my real abilities were being um, suppressed, oppressed by the ignorance or other motives um, in the hearts of the people that I grew up around. And um, I had to learn the alternative, I had to learn that this was not real love um, when I found myself to be an explorer and I traveled the world in a way that a lot of people have not made out the time so like <gasps> excuse me <laughs> Sorry about that. It's just that it's just it's just that I end up sitting without appellation for like a few days and by the time I'm uh, showing up on the camera I'm using it as a mirror. Don't mind me. I'm going through a lot and I'm sure that when I watch videos where a person is so distracted there might they might be the most Deeply connected light worker in <laughs> there's no such thing. Is there any such thing? Yeah. No, we are obviously on different levels. But um I have absolute faith in the tribe now. Because what I was trying to say with this story of um the magical people is that this woman, this character, she manages to get everybody across. But, and they, they think that when they arrive in the future, the present day, that they've lost a few lives. Uh, one thing that does happen is that all the twin flames are torn apart. And so every marriage, every relationship has to go through karma has to go through struggle has to go through breakups because it just doesn't work it's just not you know playing the tune of the grand orchestra and it's playing okay it's, it hasn't gone anywhere is um, procession but there's a shadow a cloud through which this vehicle that we're in had to go through and take on a, a whole bunch of other entities that had to be boarded on and accommodated and so that was the trauma um, we're supposed to be diplomatic we're supposed to get along with um, what we don't agree with and we, we can believe that human humanity is um, to its core more vile than we can imagine. Yeah, sure, we have that 
duality, we have that ability, the dark side. Um, and if you study the tarot, the journey of the fool is a profound way to learn the soul um, paths that are presented before us um, and all the different stages that happen. And then the correspondence, it's like the whole world opens up. Oracles, uh, people who have um, brought oracles to the world from the other side, um, like uh, angel cards uh, and um, other mediums uh, and tools of divination uh, are really helpful for me, I think. And I find it really helpful, ins helpful, inspiring, energizing. Mm. It, it, that other, uh, um, when other people, other readers, combine the classic tarot along with um, other tools. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Why am I not just saying that it's really amazing to see a whole tribe out there and I might be in Pakistan and my tribe might be dispersed across the globe um, and we, but we are so connected, we are more connected <laughs> than those who are taking their time to know their connection as well. It takes time for everybody to heal. And we have to give time, time is so important. The demon was the chaos. Like, uh, I'm not gonna give you time. You're not gonna give me time. You're gonna put me on a rat race and then I will never ever um, have the time to heal. It's like, it's 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 like creating imbalance for a person. It's like it's so much ignorance and toxicity that a, a person is around a sick person who is trying to heal, and that other person is like you know really not allowing anyone to heal. Why is it that? So I got a reading with a reader recently something is definitely in my room right now i felt this energy exactly the same one that i just felt now and i nearly saw a shadow go right from the back um it's it's uh, either monitoring spirits or what it is it's like it doesn't make me afraid but it makes me aware that it's there so if it's my grandmother or someone normally if it is one of my ancestors then uh, i'm like great that's amazing they're here and um i always enjoy that but there are some entities that are like nosy in the sense that they're distractions they are trying to stop me from communicating with my tribe and I don't know what it is I have to do um, to participate um, that is more important than what I am already finding to be important service for the tribe when I'm alone like I, I'm putting the energy to the Akashic conscience um, and I'm um, it's very important to have that safety to heal. Anything can happen in the sense that anything can happen. <laughs> but when we know how important it is and we believe in magic, then we uh, we try to take our medium, our tools, and paint to manifest with that power um, 
like a beginner would if we are respectful towards the art okay and it's like well, if I'm gonna be in the attitude that I can do anything oh uh, I want to do everything I want to do that that's something that's you know uh, looks cool I'm gonna try it um, I've never been like that but I know that there are people like that um, I'm deliberating a warning to anyone who's thinking that I'm one of those people or they can be one of those people to relate to who gets off and gets in the kitchen or gets started on something with some new tool that I have no idea of before like a fool and I pursue it um, I'm very experimental uh, with different materials but um, when it comes to like sophistication um, in the spirit world <laughs> um, you want to have respect you want to know that there may be requirements because there are for you to sit outside the doors wait um, etiquettes on knocking etiquettes on like showing up as a guest um, in territories that are that you that we may not be welcome so uh, we have to take few steps back okay for someone who has no clue what I'm talking about uh, I could you know run a series of uh, courses to sort of get you introduced to the whole concept of the soul tribe <laughs> but um, I'm sure you can pick up on some of the uh, flash words um, and uh, you know the keywords and go and Google and uh, the, these things that I'm talking about are for people who are curious and uh, curiosity helps people to learn how to research knowing how to learn knowing how I like all this so itchy. Knowing how dangerous it is to live in an ignorant world. And that if you are a product of that environment, you could be ignorant as well. Dangerous in the way that uh, you could be saying things that you are operating from a space of hurt and uh, harming more than healing, harming more than growing, you know, every relationship um, if it's not nurturing um, or if it's uh, uh, neglecting is harmful and for the majority of the people living in the world right now um, we are all experiencing the energy shift okay that is that's with that goes without a doubt so this message i guess is for people to take confirmation that um it's good to know something that has been growing in your belly for a while and all the fears that have prevented you from like taking the time out making the time around your kids and your husband and your family or your whoever it is you live with or don't live with to engage to like stop obviously if this if this is a space we are in any space we are in we know the difference when we move from space to space 
what we get this feeling, our intuition um, can be more awake than um, at some moments than it is at other moments. So, at moments when the intuition is really alive, we can feel, we can feel um, the differences. We can feel the energies that it's the spirits of the space and um, moving out of the box that you might have been raised in because of dogma, religion or politics or any, anything that has been sort of trying to institutionalize <laughs> and paralyze your intuition, your your not your ability to know. Uh, for anyone who is interested in this, should check out the work of Mark Passio. Um, he has plenty of documentaries on his web website um, on this topic of natural law. And anyone interested in learning the tarot I recommend that you just google on YouTube google on YouTube <laughs> that you YouTube um, the journey uh, like watch um, four hour lectures or like at least something that will like get you started like that get a thorough introduction and uh, I think my guess is well <clears throat> For me, I'm still learning about the fool, and uh, I'm learning how the fool relates to the different um, characters when it evolves, when he evolves through his journey, if he does. But um, only up until the high priestess is where I have managed to sort of graduate. Energetically, I'm receiving the character of the fool and the magician and the high priestess. But beyond this, I have to, I have to actually, I've just been preparing this, the bases, the book into which I'm doing my illustration and everything has to be handmade because the energy has to flow through me <laughs> and so the choice of materials the process in which slow stitch the whole thing together um, feeling smelling touching the texture of the material the fibers and needlework <laughs> It's really fun and for me as a multitasker um, I've, been, I've been able to do all my daily life things in a holistic fashion uh, eating, taking care of my cleaning uh, of the homes organizing everything just like you have lots of materials when you work with art you're making art you always have some projects that you're working with and the materials you want to be inspired by and work with then you want to put those away and you sort of want to box make boxes and then you want to start like photographing the ones the ones that are coming towards completion my work is never complete so I sort of have this I found like ways to communicate the uh, alive um, letters, my letters, okay, that I'm creating in the form of like toys for my daughter because she's three, she can't read, <laughs> okay. So, what I'm doing is um, making tiny books like this. This is gonna be a little case and this is actually a bag, a little sling bag for the character uh, that uh, is an owl 
who so I'm going to make a few um, who is who <laughs> well she's an owl so she's a who who and I, I'll tell you a, a long story about Mr. and Mrs. who who um, how this these characters have come to my imagination and in real life um, and more recently they have significance uh, in the tarot community in the tribe yeah my my I was I was actually kind of suppressing my excitement to say that um, well, maybe I did express that um, but I'll say it again um, I am healing and so my expression is don't is is uh, Is, my expression is a little bit tainted by uh, doubt um, and uh, the fears and the trauma and uh, if, if I was given space to just cry and just let it out in the way that I'm actually feeling that would require a very special sort of space that would require a really um, special sort of a special group of uh, um, <clears throat> brave uh, you know people who can take it uh, but like, like you see it in movies right you can get the picture um, so not being allowed to uh, express yourself truthfully um, and being bullied into a corner um, and made to believe that that is normal is very toxic. So if you are someone who has found a way to express yourself powerfully despite the main expression which is your voice and your body to say ask uh, what's really on your mind um, at the right time before it becomes a huge bottle bursting into millions of shards hurting and everything and then takes weeks to clean up <laughs> um, if you know how this sort of thing works it's like um, being attentive being ill is like not knowing how often you need to pay attention to something but being well is having the energy having the electric power to move swiftly through projects and to have your mind on on switched on and you're you know, you're you operating like an entrepreneur through your life, taking care of your business, taking care of your livelihood, taking care of yourself, your health, you know, um, and knowing, taking care of yourself, knowing what to let in, what not to let in. The more of such people there are in the world, the less likely it will be. The 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 lesser mm, negativity and evil there will be space for. Because we create with our words, with our thoughts, <laughs> um, we manifest, everybody does that. We also manifest exploitation and mm, violence, Right. We, we, we shape reality um, with our thoughts, with our beliefs. So why are there religions at all? Why are there like, you know, systems? Um, unless people really were not trustworthy. If people were people are genuinely not trustworthy, then you will have to enslave them on some level. You should watch 
Mark Passio's natural law documentaries or read his books. Um, um, for the most part, when I watched his first very long lectures, um, I gave myself a very deep dive on a subject. And had I discovered his work, in 2007, I would have been prevented from so much harm, so much. I would have been able to protect my family. My three-year-old doesn't live with me, okay? That's why I have to produce these letters. And I'll show you some other things I've got that I'm make, working on in the other room. But imagine after having your baby snatched from you for no reason and the whole world that's been telling you how powerful you are or like you know or like your your power is in your in your network but it's not because <laughs> it wasn't in that ever mm, it's not external never let anyone believe let you make you believe that your power is an external force your power your actual power is within you that's why i have a lot of respect within myself for the world for the, every single person that i meet every single thing that is alive especially my enemies especially the demons especially the opposition because Without that challenge, I'm like, wow, oh, thank you. Thank you, universe, <laughs> for being the challenge because I would be so lonely if I was not, not challenged. No, I don't like being uncomfortable. No, I, I don't like being brushed and I don't like being... <laughs> but in my drunken freaking state, I am, um, you know, get me to get go for that fight, I will. I'm like, bring a baby. <laughs> and I have found styles and ways to express myself peacefully. Um, that, you know, people who want to harm me have not been able to so far. They've taken everything from me. Everything that my inheritance, my home, my child, my family, the, maybe my, the love of my life has not been able to meet me because of uh, my clothes. <laughs> I have this, I literally have this dress on because I stitched it two days ago I, oh, from scraps and lace that I have been collecting from my mother's workshop. <laughs> I made a pretty cute dress actually. Um, I would stand up and twirl around and dance for you but uh, I'm talking about something very different right now. I, my clothes, <laughs> my shoes, my books, everything, okay? Maybe on some level, I'm being forced to give up my belongings to experience it, not being able to hold on and what it's like to not have that power or to think you don't have that power. <laughs> And so, it's a decision, right? It's, do we have the power? Can we have the power? Um, are we bound on some level to this natural law? Like gravity, okay? Everybody's bound to gravity, right? It's, <laughs> it's not like the world's richest billionaire can buy his way out of gravity to defy that law. Okay, you can send a rocket into space, but that's not defying gravity. That's working with that force. Um, just like that, there are other forces governing the universe. The universe governing the Earth and everything in it. So, I've stopped having the kind of fears that I used to it's not like I, I moved on 
um, I'm moving through but it's not like that it's more like the scale at which okay it's more like getting used to like you know something keeps annoying you and then at some point you 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 go nervously in circles for a while and then you're like god damn it like there's anything you can do about this reality so you just you either just shut the doors on it and stop speaking to it for a while and you know um there is this thing that i feel very strongly about what i feel very strongly about the thing in that sort of um okay let's take the example of trauma bondage for all those people out there who have who are healing from trauma bondage know how and narcissistic abuse um but they know how hard it is when you're in it because it's like a person who is really malicious can actually put a person take a person's life a person can take his own his or her own life because they were forced to believe that they had nowhere out but through uh, through through bleeding <laughs> themselves out of their bodies and uh, they must have to go through more pain than I have yet endured I think I've been brought to that point in this last year when I didn't have anywhere to go but um, when I didn't have I literally actually didn't have anywhere to go I'm sitting in the mountains I'm like uh, talking to the spirits and spirits are like oh you thought you wanted to be spiritual <laughs> really angry spirits going like hmm and then I, I get up and I'm like why am I struggling why what's the matter with me so I, you know everything is still and there at my behest for me to work with and the attitude that I was in is like everything needs to fall into my lap like a golden um, spoon, a silver spoon on a tray. Did I want to say silver spoon on a golden tray? <laughs> mm. You know what's, what would be really incredible? So we've reached a stage is where was what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to introduce myself a little bit there will be another stage which I can see already because I operate on a 10 year maybe 30 year sometimes longer life spans mm, when I'm getting my my messages mm, so right now I'm seeing that we've reached here and it's kind of funny i saw it coming and this is the sweet spot because this is the spot where all those fools all those idiots are looking at light workers and myself and throwing the same shit <laughs> they failed so miserably that they have nowhere no way in the circle is safe for us to heal in. It is safe. You can doubt it and you're outside of it. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> the school, it's, uh, it's, it's a space for healing to take place where time is slow so that all the richness that wants to thrive and wants for every single person that is here. I don't care 
what you grew up with. Um, I have, I can easily say that I have been just as poor as the poorest person on this earth on certain days, more days than I would like to confess. <laughs> and I have been more rich than the richest person on this planet in my life because of what I have lived, okay? And so that is one of the clues into thinking that there is no separation between us, between human race, human life and, and life, or all the universe. There's no separation except it's a mental separation. It's just we are slaves right now. We are bonded because we choose to be in that present. We choose to sleep. We just slack. We don't want to get up. Nah, not today. Don't want to go to school. <laughs> So you can be one of those and miss out. But it's not like that. You're missing out on uh, on the stories. You're missing out on the show. You're missing out on cinema. And it's, it's like um, you not spending the time. Do you not have five minutes? of your very busy life schedule? <laughs> Are you that poor? You don't have five minutes to uh, put to five minutes research into what I'm talking about, where I'm going with this. And what are all these conspiracy theories becoming more and more prominent and you're waking up with the days becoming stranger and all the events going faster into towards the ending of something that um, you may have wanted and you are being forced to let go. And it's really hard because it's really hard to let go. Um, I'm trying to speak to a whole variety of people right now, like, um, when I got when I came on here, I felt like I had a specific message for the tribe For the whole tribe out there. I Wanted to say that I'm just one Capricorn sitting in my end of the world experiencing um, The greatest uncertainties that you can imagine, okay? Of being completely illegal <laughs> entity saying all of this but I say all this because I speak from a space from a place of knowledge about um, the liberty and because I am fighting for the truth um, <laughs> I'm not going around exposing wounds. I'm here to heal. And so the psychological error that um, most people are encountering at this time, um, I feel holes underneath all of it a very essential flame, which is our hope. You're, you're, you're all going, mm, please, 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 God, there has to be. Where is God? <laughs> and you're, sp you know, trying to find so many different ways to speak to uh, all the powers or the power, the great power. What is it? And before this shift, there was this weakness within us that we were not um, protected 
we did not have all the spirits besides us because it's not like my grandmother I should be crying my grandmother left me and like you know it's not like that it's like a lot of people are gonna have to go through some haunting because that's karma but a lot of people who are in the tribe are safe the people in the tribe are perfectly safe that is the quantum leap we have made we've um, closed the doors and it's a, it's a school so it's a schooling space the circle it's a space where growth happens anyone who wants to enter from the outside um, has to do all the due diligence required to take the journey pay their respects like we did so at the door it's really really hard <laughs> how does a butterfly feel coming out of its cocoon and it's alone you don't you don't share that uh, pain with other species of your kind because you have to hold the universe within you but you you do and you manage to figure it out um, you manage to figure out that you were wrong you didn't know everything you can never know everything and that is the space you want to be in nice balance open to um, suggestion open to um, being convinced otherwise um, until you have very strong understanding of each of the stages so you build your castle in stone not with cards <laughs> mm, although we like cards we tarot readers we like our cards <laughs> a little card castle at the beach will be fine to play with on the weekends is um, is a nice way for me to spend the weekend Mm, yeah I just wanted to say that I did something I did do a little deep dive and I, I actually basically walked into it um, with certain mystic tools that I'm not gonna say out loud here because I have to respect the mysteries and anyone who wants to learn about them um, can get in touch with me and I will try to make some courses available um, but I, I can't put anything out there that I have not been called by spirit to produce in that energy when I'm making something I'm in the energy so it's all, almost like I'm not doing it it's the spirits working through me I'm just a vessel and that is a way in which I want to dissolve my ego eventually my body so that my body has less and less and less until no attachments so that I'm ready to grace through this life and give it what I must and grace through this life to the other and the other and the next and the next and the next and um, when I recognize myself, my truth, when I recognize my purpose, everything becomes easy because the hard stuff, which is hard, it's like when people are creating chaos and you're like, Ugh, you know, which one do you handle first? But you have to handle, uh, you have to handle it and you cannot 
run from it is your truth you said you're gonna learn how to do that artistically creatively musically if numbers is your thing you know whatever magic you have and only you know use that don't be afraid of the thing that comes and sits on you the distractions that happen no that you know when you're in chronic pain people who are healing who are healing and have healed from chronic illness chronic pain pain and to not be on like uh, painkillers so that you can even use your brain and your abilities you're not dissociated from those abilities when you're in almost like coma what you have is your mindset you adjust your intentions you say okay 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 I choose to be in the stillness of divinity I choose to erase and remake this artwork that is the reality I believe in it I believe in it because like it's not like oh yeah I believe that um, I'm going to love having a herbal garden it's still putting out a negative far away um, dream it's like can you not say that right now you need to shift not not based on a manifested thing like a car or, or a house or a, a person when you're hurting so much you have to and you you always I'm obviously talking to somebody who's on a healing path right I think um, because I think we all are on some level um, when you're hurting so much you can only do that much because there are so many layers of understanding that you have to reach and pass before the energy actually starts to manifest and then events actually start to happen so you can be like you know binge watching tarot readers <laughs> or you can be going somewhere else for your news updates on the thing that matters um, the thing that matters to you right now might be different but for me it's health if I'm healthy I'm able to manifest my dreams I have reached that level a few times already but there are people who know <clears throat> this to some extent and there are people who mm, I feel like in my community most people will understand this because people are really hardworking that is something I feel like people don't give up that is something beautiful and they might believe in like <laughs> some demon I might have believed in a demon at some point in my life thinking that it was like my god or something you know but I also <laughs> fell in love with the wrong people in the past <clears throat> I also trusted people I should not have trusted in the past but my intuition is telling me you don't have to be here right now you can be safer you can uh, give to the more deserving but as a healer I felt like I need to be here right now because this is my calling I'm here for a reason I'm here and I know that I can be over there too <laughs> my ancestors must not like me for not listening to them a lot of the times when I get warnings like you know leave a situation and I don't leave because of XYZ reason 
or that I haven't been given I've been given the warning but I haven't been given the way out and so I'm just like uh, my laziness and my lack of belief at that time uh, and on top of that just being so much lower on the level of like capable to use my magic because of all the fears I've held in the past um, I, I've not been able to protect myself from a lot of things in the past <laughs> Basically, um, check out what I'm saying. I'm kind of hungry for Prince Biscuits. Sorry, lost my train of thought. I wanted to actually say a couple things besides this, but then I thought which one was more important. And then I was like, I need to stay with the energy that I am delivering this message on yeah that is exactly what i want to say stay with the energy stay with the energy and you should know that on this path it's never gonna be like ah party it's never like that you have moments like that but isn't it better to be more used to being on the roll this is what we do we we keep on moving we keep on moving it's what we do it's just that we don't move towards something negative and so if you are meticulous about your visions you draw them out you draft and craft and you do a lot of planning and you put in the hard work it's more likely that you will achieve what you're after and somebody else won't and for the most part whatever you will achieve will have quality will have might take a lot longer but it will have you know the efforts that you put into it and Oh my god, what I've been dealing with here is like people who are so asleep that saying all these things to them is seems pointless, but I have to, <laughs> I have to like repeat it anyway. Because I know that by repetition, when you when somebody's been trauma bonded, for example, by repetition they've been they've accumulated. Uh, certain restrictions restricted ways of thinking restricted patterns to show them there's a light there's a light there's a light for them to finally break through that get a glimpse of it experience it and then okay I'm getting used to this now this because this because it's hard work okay being stuck in energy that you are not aware could have been different because uh, because you're told you can't see it it's not there oh god I don't know if I'm trying to convince someone but uh, yeah I think I think that is what this is. This video is about. This video is about confirmation towards someone who was maybe doubting their abilities, and um, <clears throat> um, I would say start with a, a little bit of research. Movie stop recording. Start with a little bit of research. If you're really, really hurting, start with a little bit of research. Drink water, drink the toxic out of your system slowly. Because if you think that you're gonna get rid of all that negative energy and it's there okay 
it's like calcification in the body that takes time it takes time for the body to get rid first to get rid of it then for the body to know really know that now it's time to heal because it can manage so the healing starts to get faster believe lots of people if you're an empath and you absorb other energies lots of people are gonna throw their shit at you because they don't have anywhere else to throw you're not a garbage bag you have to when you're healing you have to put yourself in her middle what do you do if you can't do that <laughs> if the damage is so much in the form of dependency well um intention you 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 speak it into the universe and you do not lose focus sometimes it's uh, it seems impossible to even focus for like two seconds because the chaos is so great but at some point maybe deep down if you are looking for this kind of peace in your life despite you knowing that there is chaos and it, 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 how do you how do you become one of those who are not affected by it because every it's happening in the whole world but it's not affecting some so how do you manage to come into that energy of safety well those people have actually done the work so for love to express itself into your life through everything through everything that happens in the form of care is going to happen like a lotus blossoming from nowhere out of thin air magic okay your imagination it's yours not mine it's not the neighbors <laughs> because the stuff that moves through you is divine is sacred and the only person that can tell you really truly to believe that you are not worth all of the richness that you want to believe in is you like i don't take nobody's shit um i've taken enough of a lot of people's crap and i'm gonna be 40 this year um so yeah it's taken <laughs> a long time to go back and forth to know how to basically fight <sighs> on that note I'm gonna eat this biscuit and I'm gonna get myself cozy in bed because I really need to rest I need to sleep a lot then uh, then I'm gonna log in and upload this just as it is the whole video start to finish okay okay bye try <laughs> i feel like what else can i say that's gonna encourage you into knowing that I'm, I'm just one person sitting in the corner of one part of the world there might be so many more watching you soul tribe wherever you are and it's not easy, the journey that you're on. But we're all in this together. We are. And we are receiving this message. And I have not been able to respond. But I have been doing the work in response to you working on delivering the message. Then I'm going to leave it at that um, 
I know that my head is kind of rushing through a lot of thoughts so I do need to pen a lot of things down because like there are books <coughs> an entire library flying through my the little leaves of the books are flying in my brain and they all want to come out <laughs> in the form of illustrated beautifully illustrated beautifully bound books so um, I'm gonna leave it at that because I am so busy creating art and magic thanks to you thank you is kind of what I wanted to say yep. now I'm gonna go and eat this biscuits okay bye